Hello and welcome to a new video on my channel. Today I will explain you the Easter Breeze Tower System. That tower system that's tilt, it's a tilt tower system is delivered by the wind turbine manufacturer Easter Breeze and it's available in two different versions. The small version is for a top load of 15 kilograms and the bigger version like that one is for a top load of 40 to 45 kilograms. So uh, at the bigger version you can mount the Easter Breeze turbines i700 up to i2000 and the Healy 1 system as well as far as I know. Um, actually I'm testing the uh, i700 version on that tower and in the very near future I will change it back again into uh, the i1500. Anyhow, before I show you how that system looks like outside and how I see the pro and cons of that system, what I like and what I don't like, I will show you these uh, tubes a bit in an inside or detail view to give an idea of how uh, strong it is and what you can do and what you not can do with it. And there it is, the tower in detail. First you see this uh, metal plate which is welded on every single tube on both sides of course. The bigger holes for, are for the mounting screws to uh, screw these uh, segments together. The smaller ones are for the guy wire which is in any case necessary. Um, you see inside, um, yeah it seems there is a very bit of corrosion inside the tube elements and you have to, to keep an eye on that and that's the reason why I, um, uh, I sprayed with a kind of primer all these tube segments before I mounted them together outside of my very uh, salty and uh, wet air. Just take a quick view on the on the weld. Uh, yeah, it seems it's done well for me and uh, it looks uh, yeah, it looks acceptable on, on all the uh, segments. So this is how the metal plate is mounted on all the uh, tube segments over here. Let's take a quick view outside. Yeah, let's start the uh, overview with a quick view down from the top of the tower uh, to the uh, tilt segment. You see, this is a view to the west, which is um, usually the direction where the wind comes from. Actually, it's coming from the east. And uh, excuse me, please, all the uh, solar panels which are here on the ground. Uh, this is, uh, I just uh, turn a bit around. This is actually my testing area for solar panels. Just a bit messy right now, but uh, it's, it's interesting to compare different models. Um, yeah, you see the concrete. Um, this is only the socket, by the way. Uh, the, the whole concrete in the ground is much, much bigger. In May, I will uh, um, create an extra video about that. Um, but um, you can clearly see the uh, tilt segment here of this tower and also the uh, hole uh, at the uh, last segment, at the ground segment, where all the um, cables from the wind turbines are coming down. This is quite interesting um, and uh, quite clever. What I don't really like are these very small screws. I will uh, show you that inside as well. I changed a couple of them into uh, bigger ones and also I put some washers um, under the screws which are originally not delivered. But so far so good. Um, these both plates are coming. This is the ground plate and um, this is the uh, tilt plate where the whole tower system is mounted. And you easily can tilt this tower down and uh, rise it up again uh, just um, for, for services for example or other uh, other necessary things if something's uh, going wrong etc etc very important is to um, yeah to guide this tower as you probably noticed I, I did it a couple of times even more than um, is the breeze recommended but I'm living in a very stormy area here and so it's better to have a bit a few more of these tiled wires than two less yeah, back again into my hobby room and it's time for a short conclusion about this Easter Breeze tower system. What I do like and what I don't like. Well, first of course, I really like the idea of a complete tower system. It's, uh, it, it makes it quite easy to bring up your wind turbine up into the air. It's quite difficult in some cases to collect all the different tube sizes and bring them together. So it's a good idea to have a complete system. Also, I like the idea of a tilt system. It's very easy to tilt the tower down and rise it up again for some service works and other, other changes. Please keep in mind, due um, safety reasons, it's better to work with two or better three 
persons at this tower at this time. Uh, please do not rise that tower up by your own, especially if it is longer than 4 meters. What I don't like are some mechanical components which are delivered with um, this tower kit by Easter Breeze. First of all, the screws. They deliver these small screws to mount these tower at the metal plate on the ground. Uh, this is the original one, by the way, just only used for one week. I changed them into that ones, which are much more stable and uh, yeah, still look brand new. Uh, also, um, uh, I extended a bit the size to uh, fit um, a kind of washer below the screw. True, so probably you have to change them. If you change them, please keep in mind that it should have the 8.8 .8 sign on, so the other ones will be not stable enough. The other thing I mentioned up before I do not like is that Easter Breeze doesn't deliver any kind of washers. So you have to buy washers by yourself, stainless steel of course, to mount the system. It's not necessary, but I guess it's state of the art to put a washer below that. Anyhow, um, the other thing they really <laughs> deliver a bit less are these U-bolts for the guy buyer. They deliver only, uh, only one per side of these U-bolts, and even not stainless steel. Uh, and by the way, talking about the guy wire by itself, in my opinion, my personal opinion, it's really too thin. This is the original guy wire. And uh, as I mentioned out before, they do secure that with only one U-bolt. In my opinion, this is quite unsafe. In my opinion, you have to work uh, uh, at a minimum at least two additional U-balls so that you have uh, three U-balls on every side to make it safe. And also these uh, guy wire, as I mentioned out before, is a bit too thin for very windy areas. And, and you should live in a windy area if you want to play with wind turbines. Please just keep in your mind, if you live in an area with an average wind speed per year of less than six or minimum five and a half meters per second, it's not a good idea to play with a wind turbine. You will not have any success with it. You will not earn a lot of power. It's not uh, the question of the um, manufacturer of the wind turbine. It's a question of physics. So if you have the wind speed of less than six meters per second, there's not much power inside. Anyhow, um, back to the guy wire. I changed that guy wire, maybe you noticed it on the video, into that much bigger one. I do have also additional nylon guy wires, but uh, it, after extension of this tower, I will do that in the next couple of days, um, I uh, will change them into these uh, heavy, uh, um, heavy uh, steel wires as well. So you see the difference between uh, the thin one, which was delivered by Easter Breeze, and that's that one I'm, I'm using right now. So um, what should I say? Well, I would say uh, in, in average, it's, it, it's a good idea to have this system, and I would recommend to buy that one if you have an Easter Breeze turbine or uh, some other turbines with nearly the same size. It's very easy to bring all the turbines up into the air. But you have to keep in your mind, you have to buy additional components to make it safe, in my opinion, in any case. So please, Easter Breeze, may you have to decrease the price and completely skip to deliver all the guy wire segments um, and the customer has to buy that completely by, by itself or if you deliver that stuff with the tower, use a different one and deliver, please, uh, higher quality screws and also washers with that. Um, so another, I guess it's not a good idea that everyone has to buy additional components. But in the average, I would say, yeah, pro for the system, pro for the idea of the tilt system. And it works and it's stable, but you have to buy additional components like washers, like maybe some other screws and like in any case, additional guy wire, otherwise, it's not safe, in my opinion. Anyhow, thanks for watching, and the next time I will show you how I can um, add a dump load like this um, to the standard Easter Breeze charge controller. See you next time, stay safe, bye.